Welcome back, my name is Chelsea here from WhatCulture.com and you're watching this week's Fast Count. First up in this week's WWE news, and Jeff Hardy is set to undergo yet another surgery. PWI reports this week that Hardy, who recently underwent a surgery for a torn rotator cuff, is set to undergo another surgery this week. While this obviously means that Jeff will not be unfortunately wrestling for quite some time in the WWE due to his injuries, we wish him all the best in his recovery. Next up, we're going to look at the fact that John Cena is no longer going to be appearing this year at Survivor Series. Yes, John Cena has in fact been removed from this year's Survivor Series advertising and is next set to appear at Madison Square Garden on Boxing Day for the WWE. Last up in this week's WWE news is obviously the news that War Games will be returning finally after almost a 20 year gap. It was announced earlier this week that the NXT TakeOver will in fact now be referred to as NXT TakeOver War Games and in Houston, Texas on November 18th we will finally see the return of the famous stipulation. The match that's set this year is Authors of Pain vs Sanity vs The Undisputed Era. War Games was of course originally created by Dusty Rhodes, a long time NXT collaborator. According to Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Radio this week, Lucha Underground have found themselves a potential buyer for a fourth season of the show. That's the good news. The bad news for this, however, is that if they go with this new funding source, the budget for the show will be significantly cut down. Dave Meltzer has also spoken to many of the stars currently in Lucha Underground who have said that they are unhappy and no longer want to work with the company. Ricochet, for example, has stated that he's already done working for Lucha Underground, however his deal doesn't actually expire till 90 days after the conclusion of the third season. Speaking of Lucha shows, there's currently another one rumoured to be in the works with Vince Russo as the writer. From what we can understand, Aerolux is supposed to be the company currently behind this project, having previously ran production and partially funded TNA. And while Lucha Underground is currently mainly targeted towards an English speaking audience, this new Lucha Libre show aims to market itself more towards a Hispanic demographic. Next up, and Eddie Kingston has taken to Twitter this week to announce that he will no longer be appearing on behalf of Impact Wrestling. He's been quoted in saying that I am no longer with at Impact Wrestling and want to thank them for everything. This comes one week after Robbie E, a former TNA Tag Team Champion, also announced his departure from the company. With two notable departures in such rapid succession from one another, what do you think the future holds for TNA? Let me know in either the comments below or at me on Twitter at Chelsea Cochran. Next up, it's time for my favourite part of the show, which is the wrestler and female wrestler of the week. It's time for my wrestler of the week, which this week is Marty Skrull. Marty's obviously been making waves for years now in the indie wrestling scene. However, this week, he finally became the new WCPW, soon to be defined wrestling, champion. Which finally brings us to my female wrestler of the week, which this week is Mickey James. After what feels like forever that Mickey has been away from the WWE and wrestling in general due to her country career, I'm so glad she's finally back and what better way than the feud she's in right now with the likes of Bliss. And that concludes this week's Fast Count. I've been Chelsea here from WhatCulture.com and I'll see you again very soon.